Hey everyone, it's that time of year again, October, and time for the Halloween Movie marathon fest 2016 edition. Um, so it's October 1st, and <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to watch one movie a day. So I'm going to do what I can and record my quick little reviews or whatever you want to call them. Um, and hopefully I'll have one every day, but if not, I hope you'll forgive me for that. Uh, so as I said, it's October 1st, and this weekend was Cinema Wasteland, which is a uh, horror movie memorabilia convention in Strongsville, Ohio. They have it twice a year. So I went out there today, and they had uh, <clears throat> most of the cast from The Evil Dead, basically everybody but Bruce Campbell, and some of the crew. Tom Sullivan, who did effects and design work, is always there at Cinema Wasteland. He has a little Evil Dead museum. Uh, so they showed the movie, and so that's, I watched it there, and that's going to be my my first movie for this October. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is actually the third time I've seen Evil Dead at Cinema Wasteland. Uh, the first time I ever went to the show, Tom Sullivan did a live commentary for the movie, and then a few years after that, uh, a couple of the women from the movie were there, and they and Tom Sullivan did a live commentary. It was a lot of fun. They didn't do a commentary this time. There was a Q&A afterwards. But, so, uh, movie number one for October 2016 is Evil Dead. Now, this is a cult classic film, and I, I don't know if it's just considered a straight-up classic, and I think it should be. Uh, you know, Evil Dead 2 is very funny, uh, and Army of Darkness is incredibly over the top and i think because of those two i tend to forget what an effective movie the original is uh it's a genuinely frightening movie um if you're the type of person that's frightened by movies i suppose uh but it's just the camera work is amazing uh the sound design the use of sound in this film is absolutely amazing. Uh, I, I tend to look at the early works of directors and you can see maybe the budding genius uh, that they will become. And uh, it this, I don't even think, it, it, it doesn't seem like it was budding genius. It was like it was right there, fully formed. Um, the things that Sam Raimi does in this, in this movie are just, you can watch it over and over again, and uh, sometimes you catch new things. Again, whether it's the sound or something he's doing with the camera or just the way the shots are set up, there's so much in this movie. And it's, you know, it's, it's a low-budget little, you know, group of friends got together to make a movie. And sure, Sam Raimi's gone on to make some pretty wild films, uh, pretty big films. I mean, obviously, the Spider-Man trilogy. Um Although I prefer things like, uh, I mean, I love his work, Dark Man, uh, The Quick and the Dead. And again, you can see the camera work that was born in The Evil Dead in movies like The Quick and the Dead and even in Spider-Man. Um, but it started here, uh, at least for us. I know he worked on some other things, you know, little tiny things before that. This wasn't, he didn't just pick up a camera for the first time. But uh, anyway, Evil Dead just... An amazing film, and I tend to forget how good it really is. I love low-budget films. I love independent films. Um, and this is one of the best, I think, that fits into that th those categories. It's just amazing. Um, yeah, there's some wild acting in it, some over-the-top stuff. But again, just if you watch it, just look at what they did, these these guerrilla filmmakers. Um, and I, I love commentary, so I've listened to a number of commentaries on the movie, and uh, I've read uh, Bruce Cham uh, Bruce Campbell's Bruce Campbell's If Chins Could Kill. Uh, I read The Evil Dead Companion because um, I want all that behind the scenes information. I know some people that. Um, 
don't like to know how things are done. They, they think it spoils the magic of the movie if they know how something was done. I see it completely the opposite way, um, especially with these low-budget movies. I'm just that much more impressed by what I see on the screen when I know what they had to go through to achieve it. And this Evil Dead is no exception when it comes to that. Knowing uh, what they went through to complete this film, um, it's and and watching it again, and and it's been a little while since I've been a few years since I've seen it, uh, but it felt like I was watching it with fresh eyes for some reason. And it's you know, I, if you're a horror fan, chances are you've seen this movie. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of preaching to the choir, I guess, but I just wanted to talk about my, imp the impressions that I had today while I was watching it. Uh, and it's at Cinema Wasteland, they're just in a, uh, like a conference room, I guess, a big conference room, meeting room, whatever they call it. And you're just sitting on straight back chairs. They're not comfortable. They're just set up in rows. Uh, so unless you're in the first two rows, you don't have a great view of the screen, and I know that I try to move and catch. You got to kind of look past all the people in front of you. And it was still worth it. Um, the movie holds up. It's, it's, it's just fantastic. Um, so anyway, uh, that's it, I guess. I'm not sure what else to say. Again, everybody knows this movie. Um, if you're the one person who doesn't, no Evil Dead, it's about a group of friends that go to a cabin in the woods and p become possessed by Candarian demons. There you go. Um, so, yes, that's the first movie for this possibly uh, truncated Halloween Horror Movie Marathon Fest 2016, Evil Dead. Uh, I give it... It's Evil Dead. It's going to get 10 out of 10 of whatever I decide to give it, which I suppose would be old reel-to-reel -reel, uh, audio recorders. How's that? If, if you know the movie, you know what I'm talking about. So 10 out of 10 old reel-to-reel -reel audio recorders. Um, and uh, so that's it. Uh, as I said, again, I may not get to watch a movie every day, but I'm going to try and technically, I did watch a second movie today, so I may cheat and keep that in the bank and talk about that if there's a day that I don't get a movie and maybe I'll talk about the other one I watched today. Uh, but you'll never know if I do it because I'm not going to tell you which one it is. So that's it. Uh, I'm Eric Smith, talking about The Evil Dead. There's going to be no fancy editing. This is just going to be a bare bones video. Um, and hopefully you'll get one of these every day. So I will see you tomorrow. Later.